for saying that it is. So um, I was watching MLC one day, and I sent in a super chat saying, like, hey, let's lay off Chad for a little bit and uh, talk about how Shuli's untalented and, and this and that. And then Brennan messaged me and said, hey, do you want to come on the show and talk about Shuli? So I said, sure. And then when it came time, Bob didn't want me to come on and talk shit about Shuli, which is totally understandable. I get it. It's his friend. It's his business partner. He's like, who's this guy to come on and shit on him? So that I got. But then Bob starts talking shit about me. And those guys, again, like with the E-Rock show, they shit on it nonstop. They shit on me nonstop. They shit on E-Rock nonstop. So, you know, some of it deservedly so. You know, yeah. you're not wrong. Two E-Rock people watching is, this as we bubble into Mike. So, you're not wrong. <laughs> so low energy, man. It, it's very low energy. It's two old guys complaining about shit that nobody cares about. Um, it's my sort of uh, my getaway from the regular podcast that I do. You know, I get yeah. to go to talk about, to E Rock about shit nobody cares about except us. I got Obviously, you. if two people are watching. <laughs> so that's so. Then I was like, after Bob said all that shit and was coming after me for no reason, after I've been kind of nice and supportive of Bob, uh, I said, "Fuck it." I'll just, maybe I'll maybe I'll go on Chad show and then my wife encouraged me so I went on Chad and sort of unloaded on those guys and, you know Shuli had his response which I thought was as tepid as his comedy what was and that that's where that's where it, is. Uh, it was just kind of like uh, I don't know why he doesn't like me and uh, I wish uh, you know something about me having famous friends which I, I don't know what that has but to you do s- but you said you don't even know why you liked him you just said you I just don't <laughs> I just don't. Yeah, well, I it, I think it really like started with the um, the Uncle Rico show stuff because I I really like I'm a I'm a Carl Cuck. I love WATP. I love everything Carl does. Um and yeah, uh, people pile on him, but like every look. First of all, the clips are informative to someone like me who's not familiar with everybody in that universe. So they're little bite sized clips. I enjoy them. I think I think it's, yeah, I yeah. think it's funny. Like. Yeah, I like it too. I, I get a lot of my information because you know it's it's too. I mean, when when guys like you are going five and a half hours, and yeah, then yeah. Like, he's going two hours. I'm like, Jesus Christ, I got no time in the day. I get it. I got to listen to all these guys. Yeah, it gets like it, my my wife is like it's it's my man drama. Like instead of Hollywood Housewives or something like this is the shit I like. I yeah. like all these. Mine's the same way. She's like you you are just buried in this podcast world, and I go, it's my work. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, until, um, uh, about a year ago, I wasn't aware that you were like, Oh gee, in the game. Like I went back and, a lot of good. You know, it's done me. To, to, yeah. <laughs> Still no, man. I mean, you're respected. I think if nothing else, you got respect Yeah, from, from the half game, the people. I, I mean, you see the chat, I get respect from half the people and I get called a moron by the other. Half. Oh, dude, dude. I, I, I look at the chat and it's like one, like one guy is like, Brian was awesome yesterday. Love comic book men. The next guy will be like, Brian sucks. Fuck him. He's like, I wish comic book men never existed. You know. So it's like you can't appeal to all the people all the time. Obviously, you know that. And my thing with with uh, Bob and Shuli was like, well, they don't even you know they don't even know him. They don't, he doesn't even know Shuli. It's like I don't need to know Shuli personally. Like, and then Bob goes after me. He doesn't know me personally. I've never met Bob. Yeah. So Bob comes after me, and then in the same breath is like, "Why are you going after Shuli? I doesn't even know him." It's like because I don't like Shuli. I don't did, think he's funny. How did the <laughs> How did the uh, MLC thing fall apart? When did you find out you weren't going to be on there? Or you said I'm not going to go on, or what happened? No, I was I was waiting. Like uh, Kevin had uh, messaged me earlier in the day. Uh, you know, are you? Uh, well, he asked if I was joking or if I really dislike Shuli, and I said no, I, I dislike Shuli. <laughs> And that, and then he left it at that. So four o'clock rolled around. I still hadn't gotten a link. And uh, we had discussed that. I was like, you know, I'll, I'll let you guys get your group, get into your groove, and then I'll jump on at 4.30 or whatever. But then when I was watching them, it looked like it wasn't happening. And it seemed like Kevin wanted to send the link, but was deferring to Bob because Bob really didn't want uh, me to come on. So after, I don't know, 15 minutes of them hem and hawing, I was like, fuck it, I'll go on the mud shark. I, um, yeah, I, I, so Kevin called me and he was like, do you want to come on MLC? Cause Bob can't come on. Cause Shuli's with Bob and Shuli hates Brian. 
and Brian's going to be on. <laughs> but I was like, why don't you just have Bob and Shuli come on with him? And like, because I, you, you're all like, no offense, we're all getting to be older men. Is oh, like, yeah. could you? I'm could we? Could we I just be involved in this? Shit. I'm 43 and I feel old, but shouldn't like if if Bob and Shuli and Kevin and you were on that show, do you think you might talk and come to some kind of like? peace i don't know like that's the thing like i'm not mad at Julie and bob like i'm not angry at them i just detest their their content it's, it's <laughs> like look and this is how me from like, the rock show how do you fan. like carl it's w-a-t-p boring. but you like but you hate Julie, aren't they like the same they just make fun of stuttering john and <laughs> Yeah, they well. That's the thing. I I feel like I I feel like uh, Shuli kind of ruined the whole thing. Like Carl had it down. It was like these little segments, these little bits, just enough to raise stuttering John's ire and make him fire back a little bit. And then Shuli had to go in full bore with the Uncle Rico show two times a week. And at this point, it's just like and and actually after John left the internet, it's like well, what's the point of this anymore? Like you're just beating a dead horse. It's like oh, let's go look at shit from you know, 1994 that Stuttering John did and look like a fool. And I say, look at the shit that Shuli's done. Like everything that Shuli makes fun of John for, Shuli has done himself, right down to knocking the green screen over, right down to the booger on his nose, like I mentioned yesterday. What? Like all, yeah, all that shit. It's like, look, we're all on camera a lot. We're all on you're audio gonna, you're gonna make so some you're mistakes. To fuck up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, you're gonna make some mistakes along the way. And it's it's truly smugness and arrogance, which he in his apology he said that that's actually confidence. He's sorry that he's confident. But I don't I'm I'm not sure what he's confident about. But uh I I, I don't see it as that. I, he just seems so arrogant, like he's so much better than John, and it makes me angry. That's what makes me angry is that I sympathize with a piece of shit like stuttering John. Were you a big Stern because, guy? Did you come up listening oh, to Stern? Yeah, see, so I think Came that's what it is. Stern. You guys have all these. I was never a Stern guy, so I don't have all these preconceived. You know, I don't come over with all this baggage from Stern. I don't know where stuttering John's place was in the totem pole of the Stern Stern universe. I don't know where Shuli fit in. I don't know where Bob fit in. I don't know if there's a hierarchy there. I don't know if one person did something that I should be wary of or, you know, I have none of that in my head from the Stern days. I only know Shuli from like literally two or three months ago. I know stuttering John. I knew the name stuttering John, but I didn't know anything about him. I just know everybody makes fun of him now. Like I don't know any of this stuff. So it's fascinating to me to hear somebody like you come over with this, all these biases, whether they're positive or negative um, towards these guys. Cause I don't know any of this history. 